What's up, t -botters? This is Ty from t .com, coming at you again today with another upper body workout. Today we're actually going to be doing upper body push. Uh, that means we're using muscles such as your chest, your shoulders, and your triceps. Uh, we're going to kind of hit some big compound moves, but it's not actually going to be very heavy. You just need a set of dumbbells with this one, and the first two exercises are actually going to be body weight. I will show you alternatives if you do want a little bit more of a challenge. Now, one thing different that you guys might notice me doing in this workout today is I'm actually going to do the first round with you. Explain what it's like. Uh, you're going to see me doing it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the sound out of the video and just leave the, the background music going and the beeps and everything else going. And th with that, uh, I'm sure you guys get tired of hearing me just kind of yammer on a little bit. And uh, it's mainly in the, in the later rounds, it ends up being heavy breathing and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut the second two rounds out of the video. We're going to repeat uh, just like we do for our regular uh, routine. And uh, we're actually just going to do uh, the circuit the way it was intended. And uh, I'll just kind of let, you know, guide you on that first round. And then you guys can just kind of follow along with me. Uh, I, I do appreciate any feedback, so if you guys do want to leave a comment uh, below if you like this new style, if you like the old style where I'm huffing and puffing along with you, that's fine too. Um, I'm, I've done this workout before, but if you guys want, I can film the whole thing uh, in future workouts. Uh, I'm just kind of looking to see what, uh, the goal here is to basically be able to stay consistent with these workouts for you guys. I want to be able to basically keep sending them out. So today's video is a little bit shorter, um, but it has, you know, each of the rounds. So you're actually, you're consistently hitting the rounds that you should be um, with the exercises and everything. But this is much easier for me to edit and to put up. And so when everything gets back to the way it should be, uh, this is a style that I might be able to continue doing as the days go on. So let me know down below if you like this any differently. If, if I don't hear anything, I'm going to assume that it's probably good. And uh, we'll keep making them like this one. You still can follow along. You'll still have the timer. I'll actually put the get ready fours and stuff like that into the video as well so you kind of know what you're, what's coming next without me having to prompt you. So let me know if you like this any differently. But let's get into the workout. So starting out, we're actually going to do a body weight incline push-up. This can be done anywhere in your home or if you have uh, a couch or anything like that. A body weight incline push-up. It's going to help kind of work the upper fibers of your pectoral muscles. From there, we're actually going to superset that uh, with the next exercise, which is going to be archers. Now, archers are a body weight exercise to hit the pectoral minor. It's a harder muscle to hit. Typically, we hit them with dumbbell flies or cable flies or machine flies, whatever kind of flies you can do. And it's going to mimic that motion. You'll kind of see how I, how I kind of go about uh, showing you guys how that one's done. From there, we're actually going to stay on the floor. And then we're going to do what's called a, a seated shoulder press. Now, the trick with this one is a lot of people do shoulder presses in, on the edge of a bench or uh, in like some kind of chair at the gym. This one, you're actually going to do it free, sta free standing, but obviously sitting, but it's going to be seated on the floor. And the trick with this one is as you do your shoulder presses, your core is going to be working because it's going to have to basically do the job to keep you stable as you do your shoulder press exercises. So that's going to be kind of a cool thing there. And then uh, we're actually going to superset on top of that with what's called a uh, sleepy man's lat raises. And I'll explain what that means um, as you go. You can probably already see this. It's a little bit different. And the trick with it is basically what it's going to do is it's going to take out any extra motion that you would be doing with your lateral raises with your dumbbells. And with that, you're going to make the lats work a whole lot harder because a lot of times they'll hide behind your motion or other muscles in your upper trap area. And with this, it's going to kind of deactivate all that and force your lats to work that much harder. I guarantee this one's going to make you feel it. 
Um, so uh, that's basically how it's going to go. Uh, that's our upper body push workout. So uh, without any further ado, let's get into the workout. All right, guys, so this is our upper body push workout. I'm going to show you this first round, and then we're just going to keep, we're just going to go from there with it. First one is the body weight incline push up. Now you can do incline dumbbell presses instead if you want, but here's how you do the incline push up find a countertop or the edge of your couch, and then you're just going to do push ups from here. Now, if you can't typically do a push up, this will actually be an easier version for you to do because there's less of your body weight that you're trying to push off the ground. The higher up the incline, so wherever you're putting your hands, the higher up that is, the easier this will be. Now, if this is too hard to do from your toes, you can always switch down and do it from your knees, and that'll work as well. We're just trying to get those upper fibers of the chest working. So this is how you do it. Either one of these works, as long as you're keeping consistent with it. All right, from there, the archers are next. So with the archers, you're gonna have your hands nice and wide, and then you're going to be on your toes again. This is gonna assimilate a body weight version of a fly. So with these, you go down, and then you come up in the middle. Down to the side, up in the middle. Once again, if these are too hard, from the knees will work just fine. Up in the middle. You're kinda of going side to side. And when you're down, the reason these have the name archers is because it looks like they're shooting a bow and arrow. And that's how they get their name. So just nice. Side to side. Once again, you can actually do this on a bench as well if you need it a little bit easier. Just like this. Or you can do the bench on your knees, which is even easier than that. Many different ways to do these. But these are gonna get the chest and the pectoral muscles working pretty well. From there, we're gonna do our seated shoulder presses. So like I said before, legs are gonna go straight out. Bring the dumbbells here. You wanna keep the dumbbells in front of your hips. And then you're pressing straight up, just like this. Now when you don't have a back, your core has to do the work to keep your torso erect. If you're having a hard time, lighten the weight but try to keep those legs nice and straight. And if you usually do shoulder presses and you try these, you'd be surprised at how much less weight you can handle because this is a whole lot more difficult than having a back to your shoulder presses or your seat. So just try to keep those legs straight, pressing straight up, just like this. All right, and then finally, we're gonna do our sleepy boy lat raises. So with these ones, you wanna sit forward, finding a wall is much easier with these. And then you're gonna keep your head against a pillow. You can either do, you can either do a bench or you can just do a pillow and you want to keep your knee tucked, your chin tucked. And then from there, you're bringing the dumbbells up and then you don't want to let them go all the way down. You're bringing them right back up, but you're keeping your head against the wall, the pillow that you have on the wall. You don't have to have a pillow. You just might be a little bit more comfy and you're trying not to let it go off of that pillow at all. And you'll be surprised with how much little or most less weight you can do because those lats are actually firing up and having to work.
right, guys, so you just got done with the upper body workout for today. I hope you liked it. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you like these uh, routines, these follow along routines. I definitely try to keep consistently putting them out. Uh, let me know below also if you like the new style of where I did the first round with you and then we just kind of repeated the process with the timer and everything. Let me know if you like that any different than me following along with you. I'd appreciate that feedback. I'm trying to make this content as, you know, as good as it can be, but also stay consistent with it. And the less time that it takes me to do these, the more time, you know, the more consistent I can be with them as the schedule, as my schedule gets a little bit more busy with different things going on. So let me know, give me that feedback. As always, there's the donation links in the box below me. Um, any donation is greatly appreciated. It helps keep the lights on here, helps me stay in business. I have a small business, so any donation is greatly appreciated. Obviously, these are free though. They're a passion project for me, so uh, it's from my heart to you guys. Um, other than that, I hope you guys had a great workout. I hope you guys did very well, that you're feeling the chest and the shoulders. And uh, remember, consistency is the key in here. If you're looking to get um, the body that you want, especially in time for summer or anything like that, consistency is where it's at. So do these videos repetitively. You can always come back to them. Uh, remember, you have to be eating as well to get the body and the look that exactly that you want. But doing these workouts will definitely help increase your endurance, increase your strength, and all that. So without any further ado, guys, I, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by once again. And as always, finish strong. Thank you.